What's up? What's up? Happy Martin Luther King Day today. You know what I mean? This is a special day. You might have off from work. You may be off from school. You may be hanging out, you know, telling your favorite Martin Luther King Day story. You know what I'm saying? Shoot. I know uh, the dude was gone before I hit the earth, but he had already laid down a, a serious track record you know, and uh, some serious morals and, and, and some good things that he was doing. And it was it was awesome by the time I hit the scene. Miss Jan Marie, how you doing today? Look, if you here with me, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Let everybody know that you was here with the big hearted caregiver. Now, listen, let me tell you what I do before we get started. I connect the paychecks to the pockets. I want y'all to meet the new in-home boss of health care. My name is Kion Church. A lot of people like to call me KC because they say it sounds a lot easier, you know. I heard that once or twice before. So what it is that I do, I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. And guess what? It's a special day today. It's Martin Luther King Day. Martin Luther King, I heard him say out his mouth, he said, the time is always right to do the right thing. Listen to that. The time is always right to do the right thing, man. No matter what time it is in your life, you know, if you're working for yourself, if you're working for your parents, if you're working for your, uh, you know, you, you got some other family members in the house that need a little help. The time is always right to straighten it out and make sure that the people you love are in good shape. You know what I mean? I just wanted to get on here with you. I ain't going, you know, talk your heads off or whatever. I got to get ready to make the run with my old man, drop him off, dialysis. You know what I mean? I just wanted to let everybody know that, you know, I felt something really uh, moving. And I said, let me get on here and bless the world with this good information, you know? Really cool guy. I know y'all heard of him. You know what I mean? I had to uh I had the pleasure of actually going to DC a couple of years ago, like right before the pandemic. They had got they they just built an awesome museum of Martin Luther King. Like not a museum, I'm gonna say like a mausoleum. It's 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 awesome. All you gotta do is go to DC and say, hey, where's the Martin Luther King exhibit? And they're gonna show it to you. It's like a million foot high marble statue, man. It's awesome, man. And then it was this real cool guy. They got like um uh, I'm gonna say they like tour guides. For a, for a lack of a better word, when you go down there, you on the mall and you're looking at all the great stuff that they got out there. They got people that are like super educated and super knowledgeable, and they can tell you everything that's going on. I should actually post a good story. It was a guy down there, you know, he had his park ranger hat on. He was telling me, "Look, KC, this is what Dr. King said," and blah blah blah. And he, I mean, he broke it all the way down. Made me feel kind of proud. Made me feel like, wow, I should maybe know some of this. You know what I mean? He he talked a lot of good stuff. You know, uh, definitely a must see. I don't know if you ever been to DC. If you ever been to uh, to the mall, you know the same place that they was down there riding a couple uh, uh, days ago over this Trump BS. Same spot. They got a lot of good stuff going on down there, man. Make sure you go down there and check it out, man. It's super awesome. Take your kids. I think it was me, my boy Romy Rome. It was uh, my uncle Arnold. Who else went? I don't know if my dad went or not. I don't think he went. He 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 ain't been trying to take no long trips in the car. But it was super awesome, super cool. We had a good time. Went down there, learned a lot. You gotta you gotta be open to certain things, man. You know this world is bigger than me and you. And uh, dudes like Martin Luther King was trying to break it down to you, and you know, and 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 find the best way for all to coexist, and so we can live together and and do our own thing. You know what I mean? A amongst each other as a people. See, the world is really trying to get this separation, separation, separation. But what we need to do is bring the unit back together. You know what I mean? That's why I tell people every day, you know, it's no fun if my friends can't get none, man. We don't even have to look alike to be friends. You know what I mean? If, if you on here with me, you know, we got people on here right now from all over the world. I don't even know if you know it. You know what I mean? Like, this thing is, this thing is, this thing is worldwide. You know, and the big hearted caregiver message same thing as Martin Luther King was talking about. The time is always right to do the right thing. If you're taking care of somebody, they need a little extra help, and they qualify, do the best thing. <clears throat> Put a little money in your pocket. Bring some money into the household. I'm going to tell you a, a real fast true story. You know, I was a kid, and um, I always wanted to bring some money in the house. You know, I used to go to, uh, it, was a, it was a supermarket up the street. I used to go to Acme. I used to uh, push them carts. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Back in the day, you ain't had no money. When you was a kid, it was like what you was going to do. You know what I'm saying? So I used to go to Acme, push them carts all day. You know, I helped them old ladies out. I said, hey, miss, let me help you with your stuff. Push their stuff to the car. They say, here you go, young boy. 
you know, here go the couple, here go all the change I had from the store earlier. You know what I mean? That's that's what they give you. They ain't really giving you no money out there, but they are looking out because you looked out. You know what I mean? I just want to bring a couple dollars home to my family. You know what I mean? So I feel real good, you know, and it might don't even be enough to bring home, but it might be enough to make sure that I'm all right and I don't have to ask anybody for anything. Now, being a grown up, being a true grown up is really all about not having to ask anybody for help. But being a true grown up is knowing when you need help and knowing that you need to help the other people. You know what I'm saying? You didn't get here by yourself. You ain't get here by yourself. You probably had somebody, uh, somebody brought you home from the hospital. I'm going to just tell you that like, just straight up right from there. Somebody brought you home from the hospital. Somebody kept their eye on you while you was in the sandbox playing with them other kids. Somebody clothed you, bathed you, dressed you, made sure you was all right. Whether that be your mom, your dad, your uncle. I know some of us, we all had different lives. You know what I mean? But the main point is somebody looked out for you. You need to look out for somebody else. Now, I'm not telling you anything. You know, you can do what you want to do. You know, hit the lottery and, you know, move to a remote island. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm going to keep it funky with you. If I hit the lottery, I'm going to move to a remote island. But I'm going to take some people with me. So what I'm going to need you to do, take some people with you, man, on your journey. Take some people with you on your journey. If your journey is to get to that island, take some people with you, man. Don't forget to look out for those who looked out for you. Mm, I don't know if y'all heard that. Ain't no fun unless my friends can get some. I know I say a lot of slang, a lot of different words and stuff like that. But I'm going to give you the real me, man. And, and, and if you want to be real, got to do what you got to do. My aunt says, good stuff, Kayan. Keep your positive messages going. God bless you. God bless you, Aunt Julie. How you doing today? So listen, all kind of big-hearted caregivers on the line today. Make sure you hashtag uh, live, hashtag rebroadcast. Hashtag Martin Luther King Day, day 6KC365. Uh, do what you got to do. Let everybody know this big hearted caregiver message is for you. Now, look, uh, you may have you may have somebody that you've taken care of, you know, and you know what to do. You know that you need a little extra help. So that's good. You in the right place. But it may be somebody that you know that doesn't know that they need a little extra help. And you know what I mean? I tell people all the time, money's not everything. Money is not everything. Money is here to make you more comfortable. And if you or your parent or your loved one is sitting around miserable and ain't in the program, I don't know what you're doing, man. You need to connect your pocket to the paycheck. Connect your pocket to the paycheck. It's no fun being broke at home, you know what I mean? Especially if you got to take care of somebody on this nice Martin Luther King Day. You know what I mean? Half the people's jobs are shut down. Unfortunately, I'm working. Or fortunately, I don't know, you may need me today. If you need me today, call me. But what I'm trying to say is no use being home and broke. Like those two things don't go together. <laughs> you can't stay home if you're broke. And if you're broke and you home, man, you need to be by yourself. Word up because you was called a, you know, I don't know if that's the right way on camera. That That's the L. So you know what the L stands for. You don't want to be a loser. You know what I mean? And you don't want to let your people's have the worst life they can have. You always want everybody in your circle to have the best life that they can have. You want to bring the best in. That's what Martin Luther King was talking about. That's what we talking about. Look, we on here today. If you need some help, call me 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Yo, homeboy said, I've been to the mountaintop. I seen it. I know how it's going down. If you need my help, call me, man. I love you. You're here with me today. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Talk to you soon. I got to go. Peace. Pop, pop Ray, leave out of here. So we got we to gotta do our thing, all right? Holler at you soon.